Hello, welcome to our kitchen. My name is Michael Clark and I teach production and operations management at BYU-Idaho. And I wanted to talk about the importance of facility layout and use my kitchen to illustrate this point. Now, when you have a, a workspace, it could be in a retail location, a manufacturing facility, a service facility. Layout is very important. You want to minimize the amount of travel you do within the facility. And kitchens have, to help with that, have uh, what's called a triangle rule where you want to have uh, no more than 26 feet between the three important workstations in a kitchen. The sink, the fridge, and the cooktop. And so in total, the distance should be between 13 and 26 feet and no more than nine feet between any two nodes or points in that triangle. So if we look at our, our triangle and we have our um, cooktop to our fridge, I'm sorry, cooktop to the sink, it's eight feet, right on the money. If we go from the cooktop to our fridge, it is also, it's about seven and a half feet to the center of the doors there. And then if we go from our sink to our fridge, we are seven and a half feet. So that's 15 plus eight, that's 23 feet. This is a larger triangle, but the house is a little bit larger and a larger triangle makes for good, um, for good entertaining because there's lots of room to work. We have a lot of room to work around this countertop here and there's other features that make this kitchen nice from a layout standpoint. In the morning, if I get out my frozen muffin or I make my bowl of oatmeal in the microwave, I can get my frozen ingredients here or go to the pantry, get my oatmeal, get a bowl, and then I can put everything into our under-counter microwave oven with the automatic drawer. And then once I'm done with that, I have all the other things gathered here. I can just grab my oatmeal and I'm right here seated, ready to eat. So the convenience and uh, of that layout with the microwave right there is very important to us. It saves a lot of time walking from one point to another. Also, when we're done with the dishes, or rather when we eat, it's very either easy to gather the dishes into the sink here. Again, we eat most of the time here at this counter. And then to load the dishes, you'll notice that our dishwasher is about a foot and a half off the ground. And when you get to be old like I am, your back gets a little stiff. And so now I don't have to bend down far to put dishes into the dishwasher. And that makes for great convenience and minimizing the motion because everything is so close. Also, once I'm done with the dishes or once the dishwasher is done washing, we have the dishes conveniently located right above and to the side for the glasses. And so it's very easy to unload the dishwasher the silverware is a little further away, but the dishwasher has this removable silverware holder, and so the silverware goes here. So again, we're talking about things that make for convenience, minimizing space. You don't want to have people tripping over each other, and so that's another thing that's important here. Someone could be unloading the dishwasher while someone else is working, scrubbing pots and pans that we maybe don't put in the dishwasher. Someone could also even get into the pantry while the dishwasher is open. It gets a little crowded if someone wants to go in the pantry and have the dishwasher open and the fridge, but you can get into all of these very nicely. Another feature, I guess I'm beating a dead horse, but we have our double oven over here, and my wife has a little baking center here where we put this, uh, this shelf that comes out from underneath the cabinet, and she has a Bosch mixer, wheat grinder, and we use those fairly frequently, and so she can do all of her mixing, have a workspace over here as well, preparation for the, for the cooktop, or preparation to go in the oven. And so again, the idea is that you want to, again, minimize the distance traveled between those work areas that have high frequency between them. And as we go through the chapter on process strategy and facility layout, you'll see a lot of these uh, principles discussed there and problems that will work on that to determine what the load times the distance is for different layout configurations. 
So again, as you embark on this chapter, I just thought I'd give you a little tour of our kitchen and how those principles have been applied with our kitchen. And, and I didn't mention this, but we remodeled our kitchen about seven years ago, and we thought through this quite a bit. And, um, and I may even make available a drawing of what the kitchen was so you can see the before and after, the inefficiency gains and convenience, improved convenience with our current layout. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video and um, we have been happy to welcome you into our home. Thanks.